Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving a portfolio update on the dividend stock and por portfolio for YouTube. And if you've been with me for a while, you know what it is. But if you don't, basically, it's a portfolio I've been building for the YouTube channel just to kind of grow alongside the YouTube channel. So I'm going to be giving an update with that and also what moves I've made. But to start right off, I have to start off with... The news of Wells Fargo losing $2.4 billion in revenue alongside losing $0.66 cents earning EPS, which means earnings per share. And then to top it off, taking their 51% dividend or $0.51 cent dividend that you got for every share you earned, you got $0.51. Cents. They slashed that by 80% down to $0.10. Cents. So likely, um, I took my profits out of there um, and I just closed up. I walked away. I did not lose money off of Wells Fargo, but I got out before um, it got rough. I know I'm kind of like a buy and hold kind of guy, but that was not worth my money's being. A 10% dividend or a 10 cent dividend, dividend is not worth having $100 in there, only earning barely anything. So I decided to move that money around and let's get to the update. So right off the bat, as you guys can see over here, is that there's been a lot more money added to this and I'm sorry for not keeping up with um, the updates. I got a little busy, so I'm gonna be coming out with these a lot more. But to start right off, I have five shares of AT&T stock. Um, I really like them. Their dividend is $0.52 cents per share. Um, my average cost is $29.76. And I have a pending dividend coming in August 3rd of $1.56. But that is only for three shares of AT&T stock. That's not for the whole five. And then that is coming in August 3rd. So then my next stock is Q, uh, Y, L, D, and I have four shares, 0.21, and the reason why I have that is because I have dividend reinvesting, um, turned on my Robinhood account. So every time I get a dividend, it automatically reinvests it back into the stock. So uh, those dividends keep on going back into the stock. The portfolio keeps on growing. So I don't really have to manage that. It's kind of on autopilot. I just have to make the good picks of what to put the money where. So in this, I have four shares, 4.21 shares, and an average cost of 21.19. And I had a, two, a 0.21, which is 21 cents, um, come in at the beginning of July. And that's because I only had one share. And now I have four. So for this... Um, one thing that I like about this stock is that it pays out every month. So this 21 cents per share that I have is going to be rolling in each month. So I have four shares. So four times 21 is 84. Hopefully I did that right. 84 each month, 84 cents coming in, going right back into the stock is, um, is good stuff to my ears. Moving on to the next one is SDIV. It's another monthly ETF. And as of right now, I have four shares of that. Uh, an average cost of $11.54. And I have an $0.08 cent, um, dividend coming in for July. And that is because I only owned one share. So I made some moves in this portfolio. And this was one of the moves because I want to beef up this dividend. And this dividend was for July. And for August, now that I have four shares, it should be around eight times four is 32. So 32 um, cents. I want to beef that up a little bit more. Moving on to the next one, though, we got to keep on rolling. I got a lot to get to. Ford, I have three shares of it. Not that much, but I bought it at 612 and it's in the 640s right now. Um, it's kind of just a long term hold with Ford, especially since they released their new Bronco that is supposed to keep, it's supposed to be the Jeep Wrangler competitor, which I think is as dope as all get out. It's supposed to be under 30 grand. 
As you guys know, or if you don't know, that the new Jeep Wranglers, the 2020 Jeep Lang Wranglers, eh, are eighty thousand dollars, eighty thousand, and then Ford comes up like, "Yo, we got this new Bronco, thirty grand, we got you." So um, I'm just mainly in that for the dividends, but I really like the new Broncos. That's a side, whatever. Anyways, moving on. We got to keep on going. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. Ticker symbol O, real, Realty Income. I've always wanted to invest in this because it's a good monthly dividend stock. I only have two shares of it. My average cost is $57.18. Um, I really like um, the monthly dividend stocks, if you can't tell. Um, but I'm, I want to buy more of the typical... Um, uh, blue chip kind of dividend aristocrat stocks here pretty soon, but I had to get the the monthly dividends uh, ETFs and stocks into the portfolio first and then the last one on this list um, Before we move to the next section is CIM and it's Chimia Investments. I'm pretty sure I just said that wrong. I don't even care. Um, I have two shares of that uh, average cost of eight dollars and ninety six cents, and the reason why I invested with them, you'll be like, "What the heck is this? Never heard of this. Why did you invest in them?" Quick rundown of why I invested with them. I looked into the company. Um, I've seen its track record of the dividends and um, everything in its history, and I really like the company as a whole. And so I decided to invest in it. Moving on to the end of this video, trying to get through this. EPD is the next one. It is an MLP, and if you don't know what an MLP is, stay tuned to the next video because I will be breaking down MLPs and what they are and what that all means. But this is essentially a stock that charges fees for transfer transferring resources um, in the energy sector, and they don't really rely on the prices of energy, just how much is being passed through. So it's very safe. And then moving on, Div is my next holding. It's another monthly dividend stock. Um, it's actually an ETF, same thing, whatever. I don't even care. Um, I have two shares of those and an uh, average cost of $14.70. And I have yet to earn any dividends from that because it's a fairly new position. Um, I just kind of got into that recently. So... Hopefully by August I'll be getting them, but I think you have to have them for over a month before you start earning dividends. I don't know, but I'll just hold on to them. It's a long-term game. That's what we're playing here. And the last thing I wanted to go over was the price of my portfolio. It's at $566. I believe the last time you guys saw this, it was in the 200s and something adding a full almost four hundred dollars i think it was 350 i think so i added that to the portfolio those were the moves i made obviously i got rid of um wells fargo my position there just because of what happened but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like like it up because it helps the youtube algorithm and if you're not already subscribed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video